Praise the Lord. I'm going to be. I'm sure somebody knows that I, for one, I, for one, I don't joke with our mothers in the house. I don't joke with mothers in the house. Women in the house, let me tell you, as you're looking at me now, you are dead to me and I don't joke with any one of you. And I'm believing God that your heart desire, even as you are sitting down today, God will meet you at this point of need in Jesus' name. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. I'm going to be encouraging us as mothers this morning. Parents to be treasured by every woman. It is not a burden, as some put it. It is God giving privilege and responsibility. Most certainly, not every woman with a child or children can be referred to as mother. Yes, sir. You will agree with me? Yes, sir. First Kings chapter 3, verse 16 to 28. As I was reading that scripture, it recounts that two women living in the same home. They were living in the same house. And each of the mother had an infant had a son and came to King Solomon and one of the babies has been smitten and each claim the remaining boy belongs to her. King Solomon called for a sword and he wanted to take a judgment. He, he declared his judgment that the baby should be cut in two one woman did not contest that ruling, declaring that if she does not have it, then nobody should have it. But the other said to King Solomon, give the child to her. Just don't kill him. Give the child to her. Then the king declared, the second woman you are the true mother. So, a real mother is known by the rare but selfless virtues which she manifests. Thank God for the poems that we've just had this, this morning. Those poems, they were powerful poems. Please put your hands together for this poem. The mother is an architect. Are you listening to me? Yes, sir. The mother is a counselor. The mother is a guide. She is a trainer. And she is a home manager. Indeed. Please underline that word I use. Home. The mother is a home manager. Indeed. Now, a true mother is the sunshine on her home. When the mother comes in, the light is shone in the home. Lighting every domain that she inhabits. She stands out as a life, as the lifeline of the family. Full of strength, full of courage to fight every battle that comes her way, that comes within her domain. She's also full of compassion. She's full of love, mercy, and she's often selfless to her sins. She's selfless to her sins. That is one of the few things I picked up from those poems. Truly, the mother plays a very, very vital role in the life of every member of the family. Yes. I can
cannot overemphasize this. Her influence has a far reaching effect. She is a determining factor. Listen, she is a determining factor of the job. She is a determining factor of the peace. She is a determining factor of the happiness and the progress in the entire family. Please don't, don't miss this message. Listen. That's why I say, by this time next year, your levels will change in your home. Amen. The impact she has on her children is very great. I, for one, I felt it. I know it. I know it. By the special gifts of God, I still have a mother. The impact she had on her children is so great. Listen, it can be positive and it can be negative. Whatever impact that the mother has on the children, positive or negative, is so great. It is not out of place then to say that a woman has not have all of this. A woman is the person behind the steering wheel. Are you listening? A woman is behind the steering wheel of every home. She can stare the husband and she can stare the children. She's behind the steering wheel of the home. She tactfully directs, tactfully she can direct and control the entire atmosphere in the home. Listen to me, beloved. I've been using the word home, home, home. I have a reason why I use that word home. Now, let me quickly just look at what is an ideal home. Because I've been mentioning the word home, home, home. Now, as I was studying, I realized that we have four basic institutions in the society. The state, the school, the church and the home. Of these four, the home stands out. Of these four basic institutions I just mentioned, the home stands out. The home stands out. The home has a profound influence on the state. It has influence on the school. The home has influence on the church. Glory be to Jesus. Hallelujah. And before I go to the word home, remember I was talking about the, the way the, the woman, the mother, can take possession, influence of the home. That's why I'm going to what home is all about. Not only that, I also discovered that the home is a shelter that keeps that keeps us safe. And from the storm of despair and depression. The home is a shelter. It keeps us safe from despair and depression. The home launches hope. Any man, any woman. You pick that hope from home. It launches hope into a dark and a dying world. You pick it from the home. Where the mother is at the staring wheel. Staring. Ideally, as God intended it, home means family. Means family. Structure and order in the home. Love and rest in the home. Peace in the home. Security in the home. Comfort in the home. Home means family. Where all these things can be found. Glory be to Jesus. Hallelujah. Now, when the home is genuinely Christian, just like you are, everyone sits here, you are privileged to belong to this body. When the home is genuinely Christian, then the church can have spiritual impact 
on society and culture. So a Christian home is where the husband and the wife function as partners, submitting to each other in the fear of God in order to establish God's will for their lives and for their children. So in the home, we learn to respect and honor ourselves and to respect others. However, however, the rate at which homes are failing in the contemporary times is very saddening. Mm. Once happy and a loving family, willing to stay together in holy matrimony, suddenly becomes victim of satanic attack that most times end up tearing them apart. This is contrary to the will of God. This is contrary to the will of God. And this is contrary to the will of God for our homes. I want to believe that you are listening to me this morning. 